Hi, everybody. I thought I'd switch things up tonight. What we're here for today is abandoned mansions, right? Well, that's what I'm here for. I am here to have some tea and abandoned mansions. You guys ready to go look at some mansions? This is the one I really want to look at. Like the thumbnail had caught my eye because it looks like a corporate building. It doesn't even look like a real mansion. So I was like this, like what, what is the tea here? Let's dig into this, have a chill evening because Lord knows life is not chill otherwise. Bloop, make this full screen. See, do you see this? That's supposed to be a mansion. Like, babe, look at that. That's supposed to be a house. Would any of you guys live in that? That just doesn't like, that doesn't feel comfy when I go, oh yeah, this is my picture of my house. Like it's an office building, babe. And this big piano, like who just abandons a piano like that? This kind of feels like a boss lair. If I'm going to be like honest, like this is where bosses hide or something to do evil boss plans. Why is there a Bible quote on the screen? What, what the fuck? Oh, what's up guys, it's Big Banks, we're back again for another- Okay, video. hello sir. Okay. This place is called the Evergreen Crystal Palace. The Evergreen Crystal Palace is its actual name. I mean, someone really thought highly of themselves when they were building this, that's for sure. 30,000 square feet. 30? 20 plus car garage. Wow. It's 80 million dollars. That's 80 million dollars? Are you sure? Cause it's ugly. I mean, I guess it must cost money, but. This place is for sale. This is for sale. Hey, if all of us gather up money together, I'm sure we can have enough money to buy it, right? <laughs> Everything in there was left behind. When the guy passed away, he owned a gas company. He was multi, multi-millionaire. This is a gas company owner. That explains why there's a lot of money put into this and literally zero taste. Why didn't we start with that, my man? That would have been so much easier. A little bit about what I heard was that when he was planning on building a home out here, this was originally going to be a family lake house. But something happened with a stockbroker from New York that they flew over here. I guess he made some kind of joke um, towards Mr. Plaster. Mr. Plaster didn't take it too kindly. So he wanted this place to be extravagant enough for anybody that comes out here to be impressed. It's so ugly. I love looking at weird Zillow listings, but yeah, I, him saying anyone would be impressed. This looks like an office building. Like I, that's not impressive to me. You're gonna be in for a crazy video right now. So this is definitely- I'm just kind of like get to the video. Okay, I've seen the exterior. I want to see the inside. I get it. It's an, oh, there we go. It's still, it still looks like an office building from the inside. What the heck? Wow. Money really can't buy class. Ew. What the? F All right. Now it looks like the 90s. And of course you can't forget the statues. What the fuck is this? Statues of elephants randomly? What's going on? This is like a house of horrors. There's even men's and women's restroom. What the f Frick. No, that's not a house. That is literally like just a public building. Imagine that too, because you know, like the land that the dude built this on to get that kind of view of the lake or whatever is not cheap. So then you spend all this money for this land and then you build it so ugly on the inside. What a waste of land. What do you think, bro? I'm winded out. This is a yeah, dude's winded out from being in here. I'm winded because it's so ugly. I bet though they had to be kind of polite about it though because someone let them in to essentially look at this house and record it. So for the record, I think that the channel or whatever is probably being really polite about it, but I don't have to be. So <laughs> yeah, like knowing the history, knowing this was some big like oil tycoon that made this, I'm like, you know what? It's all adding up now, all adding up. Hell yeah, look at these ancient TVs. Now the 90s are back, baby. Look at this. Oh my God. And then something absolutely crazy. Oh, dude, so the gun range. Is that like a medical room for checking your eyes or something out of the 90s? Like a dental office or something? What is in there? What do you mean? It's, it's crazy and then he's about to swivel the camera around. Go back. And then you have a freaking shooting range. Oh, I take it back. It's a shooting range, even weirder. This is a panic room. This doubles as a panic room because feel this. This is all bulletproof. It's not a panic room. It's bulletproof because they're shooting actual bullets in it. So I assume no one would want a rogue bullet 
making its way throughout the rest of the house. But I'm going to go ahead and say that the walls and doors are thick because they're shooting actual guns and you A, don't want to hear the noise of guns because they're very loud. And two, you don't want to get hit by a stray bullet if something were to go wrong while practicing. But OK, sure, it's a panic room, bud. Incredible does not even describe this place. He's right. Incredible does not even describe this place because I wouldn't even use the word incredible to describe it. Let's attempt to go through this kitchen because this is apparently a luxury kitchen in this house. And I've got to be honest, it's pretty hideous. Also, like, look at the side here. Just this small table just set for one. Like, I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be like a, a writing desk or something. And yet this is so bad. It moves all across. This man is like, oh, the ladder moves and it does not move. Can we also mention white tile as your countertop? I don't know if any of you guys have ever cooked in a house where you have any kind of tile countertop, like everything gets into the grout. You spill some spaghetti sauce. It's your grout now, like it's not going away. So to have an entire white tile kitchen with grout as your countertop, this place has never been used. That is, that is an absolute dead giveaway. You are totally correct. Come collect your money. That looks like a bank. That's for sure. And this one is Peacock. Imagine that. You have a suite called the Peacock Suite, I assume is what this is called. Uh, and you just get to overlook the bank. I got to admit, though, the first thing that I actually like in this entire house, though, are those chairs that we're looking at. Those are kind of cool, I'm not gonna lie. I take it all back, look at that. Ah, oh, God damn it, can't have anything nice with rich people. It's got the bathroom. I love that you can hear that his friend started up the drone because you could hear that faint humming. So he's like, shit, I gotta get out of the way. He's filming stuff with the drone. So he just quickly runs in here and now we're looking at a mask. I just found that funny. Ew. Initial thoughts? Ew. Yeah, this is pretty gross. And look at that weird little shower. Like it clearly goes behind the wall or whatever, but like this is a slip and fall haven. Like the tiny little sink that's right next to the bathtub. Like none of this makes sense. It's just very weird. It's very 90s, That that is for sure. We got China books. We got China statues. The descriptions he's giving, great. Look at the China statues and the China mirror and the China, chi like what the fuck? And then we have this room. What the fuck is this room? You know that print that we used to make the joke about that it's like your grandma's couch? Well, now they turned it into a duvet and it's on a bed now. And then we got the bathroom. I can already see before the lights come on that we're about to enter a treat. Oh. It's, uh... <laughs> oh my God, what is this? It still looks like a corporate office. Insane, got two toilets here. The, he doesn't know what a bidet is. He just said two toilets. This dude is killing me. I'm starting to believe he actually thinks this stuff is beautiful. They call this the Ram Room. I fuck it so badly. Ram Ranch. 18 naked cowboys. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> what we got through here is offices. Now it's an actual bank. There's just random offices in here now on this top. <laughs> what the hell is this place? I thought this was a joke. Such a cozy feeling in here. You, you can't seriously tell me you go, oh, this is cozy vibe in here. You are lying to all of us. This is the coolest fucking room in the house so far called City Lights. And even still, this is not it. It looks like an office building. Literally 100% stand by that. This is not a home. This is an office building. And he tried to convert it into a house. I've wanted to always see what the inside of this house looked like. And now upon seeing it, I wish I hadn't. Let me see the comments, actually, I'm curious. All these comments are weird. I'd be scared to live in a place that big. Yeah, okay, that's like the one comment I'm agreeing with right now. Mafia boss, John Gotti's abandoned mansion. Ooh. Let's go from an oil tycoon to a mafia mob boss's house. I think that could be interesting.